We are familiar with the contemporary billionaires and millionaires, but little information exists about the affluent figures of the past. Today, we will acquaint you with one such influential individual named John D. Rockefeller, who was an oil magnate, the first American billionaire, and the wealthiest person in modern history. He is also regarded as one of the wealthiest Americans of all time, having established the world's first and largest standard oil company, which controlled 90% of U.S. oil. Rockefeller, a native of upstate New York, was a humble man who began his career in the oil industry in 1863 when he invested in a refinery in Cleveland, Ohio. He is deemed one of the most accomplished men globally and a philanthropist of great importance in his era. By the time of his passing, he was the richest man in the country. So here's 10 rules for wealth creation by John D. Rockefeller. Rule number one, patience is key. According to John D. Rockefeller, one of the most important factors for acquiring wealth is perseverance. He believed in following the perseverance rule, which involves reaching the finish line of whatever race you are running. By doing so, you prepare yourself to conquer any obstacle that comes your way while striving towards your goals. As human beings, we often get tired and discouraged by the daily grind and may lose sight of our objectives. However, if we stick to the perseverance rule, we can achieve the seemingly impossible. Moreover, by committing to always finishing what we start, we begin to find the positive aspects amid the challenges and setbacks. These positive perspectives help us to reach the finish line and strengthen our resolve to keep going despite any adversity. John D. Rockefeller's emphasis on perseverance as a fundamental component of success teaches us the value of persistence and staying the course towards achieving our goals. Rule number two, aim for great things. John D. Rockefeller advised not to hesitate to abandon the good for the sake of the great. Rockefeller, a bold risk taker, was not afraid to risk everything, including what was good, to achieve greatness. He transformed from being a competent employee to a phenomenal entrepreneur by searching for opportunities and taking calculated risks. Rockefeller was not one to wait for opportunities to come to him. Instead, he actively sought them out. He was willing to make sacrifices and give up what was good in exchange for a better future. Furthermore, Rockefeller believed that to achieve success and wealth, we don't necessarily need to add more to our lives, but rather eliminate things that no longer serve us. By doing so, we can focus on acquiring things that will truly benefit us in the future. Often, people are hesitant to strive for a better future because they fear losing the benefits of their current situation, such as a good career or a stable relationship. However, according to Rockefeller, we must be willing to take risks and pursue our dreams, even if it means letting go of certain things. After all, the future may hold far greater opportunities than the present. That being said, we shouldn't deprive ourselves of necessities in the pursuit of our goals. It's important to be thoughtful and deliberate in our pursuit of a better future. These are just the first two rules of wealth according to Rockefeller, and we can look forward to being blown away by the rest. Making these videos always takes a good amount of time and research. The only thing I ask you is to hit the subscribe button and like the video to support the channel. Rule number three, work hard and maintain a consistent routine. As per the wisdom of John D. Rockefeller, success is not an easy journey, but rather involves getting up early, working late, and striking oil. This rule demonstrates that achieving success requires hard work, dedication, and resilience. To become successful, one must strive tirelessly and consistently work towards their goals. It's not enough to simply hope or wish for success, as it requires determination and perseverance. While it's easy to celebrate success, it's important to appreciate the process of getting there, as there may have been many setbacks and failures along the way. Rather than getting discouraged by these challenges, one should learn from them and use the lessons to improve their outcomes. By staying focused and committed to the journey, one will eventually reap the rewards of their hard work and persistence. It's not luck or chance that brings success, but rather one's work ethic and determination. Rule number four, be the best at what you do. John D. Rockefeller believed that to achieve success, one should excel at performing even the most mundane tasks in an extraordinary way. 
He understood that there are several paths that can lead to success, each with its own set of challenges and outcomes. While conventional methods may be simple and straightforward, it is also essential to explore alternative approaches that could have unexpected results. It is crucial to strive for excellence, regardless of the task's complexity or simplicity, and make the most of the opportunities presented to us, actively learning and mastering new skills along the way. Rule number five, take control of your wealth. John D. Rockefeller once said that the true value of wealth lies not in accumulating it, but in how we use it. Simply earning money and storing it away in a bank account is not enough. The real question is what we will do with the wealth we acquire. Rockefeller attributed his success to discipline and careful management of his finances. According to him, the true measure of wealth is a person's ability to control their expenses and build up their savings. It's worth noting that Rockefeller did not come from a wealthy background. Instead, he learned from his mother's teachings and applied her lessons on budgeting and saving money to his own life. For Rockefeller, financial success was not just about acquiring wealth but about using it wisely and responsibly to create a positive impact on society. Growing up, John D. Rockefeller's mother instilled in him the importance of spending money wisely by only purchasing items that were necessary and saving for the future. This is a rule that we can all benefit from following in our own lives. Oftentimes, we spend our money without much thought about how it will benefit us in the long run or whether it will bring us any returns. It's important to be intentional with our spending and savings and to educate ourselves on the value of different assets before making any investments. By following this principle, Rockefeller and many other successful entrepreneurs were able to accumulate wealth. In addition to this principle, Rockefeller also had another mind-boggling rule of wealth that is worth mentioning. As he famously said, the only question with wealth is, what do you do with it? In other words, accumulating wealth for its own sake is not enough. The real challenge lies in determining how to use that wealth to make a positive impact on the world. By focusing on this question and using wealth as a tool for good, we can achieve true success and fulfillment. Rule number six, don't just focus on becoming rich. Rockefeller once famously said, if your only goal is to become rich, you'll never achieve it. Despite being the wealthiest man in America, Rockefeller was also a great philanthropist, and his rules about getting rich or successful always involved consideration for mankind. Rockefeller firmly believed that if we are not serving mankind, the wealth we accumulate is ultimately useless. He explained that if an individual lives with the exclusive goal of amassing wealth or having a six or seven figure bank balance, then their goals will never truly be fulfilled. In his view, the pursuit of money for its own sake leads to a life of slavery to money and the eventual exhaustion that comes with it. Instead, Rockefeller advocated for a different approach to wealth creation, one that prioritized adding value to society. He believed that when we focus on making money while simultaneously seeking ways to improve society, that is the only way to truly become wealthy. This belief was encapsulated in another one of his famous sayings, wealth is a byproduct of what we do. He argued that creating something superior, more affordable, or addressing a societal need that has gone unaddressed can help generate wealth. However, he emphasized that creating value for society should be the primary goal, not the wealth itself. By focusing on this approach, the money will come naturally as a result of your efforts to improve the world around you. Rule number seven, take time for planning your next moves. According to John D. Rockefeller, a person who devotes the entire day to work does not have enough time to generate wealth. He asserted that those who exclusively work for money do not allocate sufficient time to research innovative approaches that promote progress. For Rockefeller, the act of working for money was not significant, but how one chose to spend that money was of utmost importance. He claimed that individuals must have time to contemplate their purpose, conduct research, and seek out the best investment opportunities, initiate side hustles or businesses, and develop passive income streams. Consequently, instead of completely immersing ourselves in our daily jobs, we must intentionally set aside time to strategize and consider ways to generate more wealth. This can be achieved by leveraging money, time, ideas, side hustles, and other resources because a 9-to-5 job cannot create wealth. 
Therefore, to advance in life, we must evaluate our daily schedules and invest our time in activities that are more productive and profitable. Number 8. Work on your reputation. John D. Rockefeller emphasized the significance of building a reputation, especially for young men who aspire to become successful and renowned individuals. He considered a person's reputation to be the most valuable asset, even more valuable than material possessions. In Rockefeller's perspective, establishing a good reputation is crucial for achieving wealth and success in life. This means that a person's character, integrity, and credibility must be developed and upheld to gain the trust and respect of others. Ultimately, a good reputation can open doors to new opportunities, both personally and professionally. In addition, John D. Rockefeller encouraged individuals to place significant effort into cultivating their character. He believed that a person's character is a valuable asset that must be nurtured and protected. The question then arises, how can one go about doing this? Rockefeller suggested that we can take care of our character by making wise choices and improving our thinking patterns on a daily basis. Essentially, your reputation is a direct reflection of your life. When someone hears your name, what do they think? Do they think of you positively or negatively? Ultimately, your reputation is shaped by your actions and how others perceive them. Actively listening to others and considering their suggestions can be a valuable way to grow, but it's important to evaluate whether those suggestions will truly benefit you. It's not always necessary to accept criticism unless it is constructive feedback that can help you improve your life. Take everything with a grain of salt and always aim to use feedback in a positive way to transform your life for the better. Rule number nine, know the right time to make investments. John D. Rockefeller famously said that the key to making money is to invest when others are panicking. When the stock market experiences sharp declines and the charts turn red, it's important to remember that these downturns offer many opportunities to buy stocks and properties at reduced prices. This principle emphasizes the value of buying low and then selling at a higher price later when the market rebounds. It's a technique used by successful investors, including Warren Buffett, who advises to be cautious when others are overly optimistic and to take calculated risks when others are afraid. Rule number 10. Be mindful of your business ties. John D. Rockefeller advocated for the notion that it's better to have a friendship based on business than a business based on friendship. Unlike many others, he held a unique perspective on the intersection of friendship and business. In his view, business relationships founded on friendship were beneficial because they brought individuals with similar values and interests together. People in these types of relationships are more likely to get along well and be in a better position to support themselves without struggling. However, he also believed that businesses that began as friendships could run into a variety of issues, so it's crucial to be careful about who you choose to do business with. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing.